Welcome to the Art Lady channel at home. And today I'm going to show you how I hid my ugly dishwasher. What I did was, when, um, after a home remodel, I had removed a wall from the kitchen to the great room. And so now we opened up the whole house and I wanted to have my appliances hidden from view from the living area. So what I did was I built a wall around the corner here in the kitchen, and that's where I have most of those ugly appliances. Now, I did have, I did have to leave my dishwasher next to the sink. And originally it was planned to be on the left side and it was changed in the building process to the right. But then I, it posed a problem. When it was on the left, it would have been hidden by the, count, the island. And I had the kitchen designed so that the furniture, so that the pieces, uh, the sink and the island would just blend in with the furniture that's in the dining room and living room. And so it, I wanted it to not look like a kitchen. And so that's why I hid the appliances. But then as you can see, I have this dishwasher smack dab in the middle of, of this kitchen here in plain view of the dining room and living room, which really bothered me, especially because my dishwasher is really, really ugly. And I did not want to have to purchase new appliances at this time. So what I did was I had the cabinet builder who happens to be my very, very, very talented brother who does this for a living. He built me um, a panel that goes over the dishwasher. Now this is a standard dishwasher and my dishwasher was flat, um, just a flat panel. There wasn't any indentions, wasn't any um, curving to it. So it was just a flat black panel. And so I was able to glue on uh, with a special glue, the cabinet door or the actual panel that goes over this. And I had it match the, the cabinets that he built for the kitchen. We were doing the kitchen at the time. And instead of uh, buying a very expensive dishwasher that will take a panel like this, because there are dishwashers that you can buy, but they are more expensive. And like I said, I, did, I just want to reuse this dishwasher at this time. Later on, when I need to update that uh, dishwasher, I can replace it with one that has um, an adaption where you can use, we can where it will accept a panel. But for now, what I did was I had him build it, and then I used liquid nails, and you can get that at the hardware store. I did a frame of liquid nails around the edge, probably about an inch and a half in from the edge, on the back. And then I did a crisscross X down the center, real large. And I also used some double-sided tape. My brother suggested that just to adhere it temporarily so that the middle will stick real well temporarily until the liquid nails dry. So I had a few pieces of the double-sided tape. I kind of made a mini frame with that. And then, oh, and then it was about two inches from the liquid nails. And then I used some masking tape, or actually it was paint, it was um, painter's tape. And I, and I paint, used painter's tape on the edge. And I wrapped it quite a bit around and around. And I let that, and I made it really tight. Uh, I did like three or four rows of them on this side and on, same on the other side. And I left it real tight like that overnight. Read on the, if you read on the liquid nails, it'll tell you the cure time for that. I followed that directions exactly. Then I removed the liquid tape. And this is two years later. And there have been absolutely no problems with having the door on the dishwasher. The door, the dishwasher is a bit heavier because of the weight of the door. So when you open up the dishwasher, you can't just let it drop because it's quite heavy. Um, 
you know, it's the weight of that door, the wood there. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm just aware of that and I make sure I have it closed completely and there's been no problem. I did run a bead of liquid, um, a clear caulking where it meets on the top so that if any water comes down and in, it will, uh, you know, prevent it from seeping into the cracks. And that was it and it's good to go. Um, as you can see, I could not get rid of a dishwasher. I absolutely hate doing dishes. And so I, in, instead of, I opted to just hide it. Now I did see, and I could have built it as well, but I just, I mean, this, this made me happy. I did see some people that place, there's another panel that you can build. See, I have all my controls on the outside, these buttons. We could have made another panel for the top and had it come up and down um, and raise it up over this, but I thought, this is fine. Uh, I can live with this until I update my dishwasher. Um, and I think it, it helps the look from the living room because uh, you can just imagine what it looked like when it was a solid black in there. But that is my solution and, and I wanted to show you because yeah, it does work. This is over two years and it's still there and still working. And then my view now is not so stark of a big giant black square. And if you like the video, make sure you tune in and subscribe. I'll have lots of fun house tips on how I did my remodel of this kitchen. And happy YouTubing.